Import vouchers from Excel Advance. This presentation will give you an overview on how to import vouchers data from an Excel file to Busy. Basically, in this video, we'll cover the advanced features. Advanced feature here, we are referring to majorly the taxation related part. That is, if you are having tax inclusive entries or you have charged item wise tax, then how to import those entries in Busy. Apart from this video, we have our basic video also, which you can refer to view the basic import of data from Excel sheet to Busy. There are various cases depending on which we'll create different format on how to import data to Busy. Different cases that will be covered in this video are case one, tax is applied in bills and re and bills and re is in different columns of Excel sheet. That is, there is more than one tax you have charged in the voucher. Case 2, tax is applied item wise and tax rate is not specified in Excel sheet. Case 3, tax is applied item wise and tax rate is specified in Excel sheet. That is in case 2 or 3, tax is applied item wise and in one case, tax rates are specified in Excel sheet but in other case, tax rates are not specified in Excel sheet and they will be picked from item master. Case 4, tax is inclusive in item amount that is tax inclusive transactions and tax rate is specified in Excel sheet. Similarly, case 5, tax is inclusive in item amount, tax inclusive transactions and tax rate is not specified in Excel sheet. Case 6, item amount, tax rate and tax amount are not at all specified in Excel sheet. They will be picked from item master and will be calculated automatically. Now we'll discuss our first case, case 1, that is bill summary is in different columns of Excel sheet. For this, we'll go to Administration, Data Export, Import, Import Vouchers from Excel menu. On the screen, Import Vouchers from Excel window is appearing here. First of all, we'll select the voucher type, that is for which voucher type we want to import the data. Here we have selected the voucher type as Purchase. Select Format, Import Purchase. We have already created this format. If you configure this format, then you can see we have defined header fields and item fields along with the Excel column in which they will be found in Excel sheet. So next we'll open the Excel sheet that we have maintained here in the sheet. You can see all the voucher related data is appearing series, date, bill number, party name, item. There are multiple items in the bill, quantity, unit price and CGST. That is the name of the bill summary, its tax rate and tax amount and again SGST, its name and tax rate and tax amount. So you can see there are different columns in column L. M and N, CGST name, rate and amount are specified and in column O, P and Q, SGST name, rate and amounts are specified. Next in the voucher details to be updated option, we'll select the add new vouchers that is we want to add the new vouchers. If you want to modify any existing vouchers, then you can select the modify existing vouchers option also. Next, we'll enable the create new masters used in vouchers option. With this option, the masters which exist in vouchers but does not exist in busy will be created automatically. Once you enable this option, then you need to specify the parent group for account item and material centers. It, the parent group you specify here will be used as default parent group while creating new item account or material center masters. This is mandatory because without specifying parent group, you, you cannot save an item account or material center master. Next, in the item fields group and auto calculate amount, we have to do nothing. We'll directly jump to Excel file path option. In this option, you'll specify the path of the file from which data is to be picked. Sheet number, that is the sheet from which the data is to be picked. Starting row and ending row. Here we have specified the starting row as 2 because in the first row we have our header fields that is the name of the fields like this is quantity unit so we, we do not need to import those fields by specifying ending row as zero you are saying that import till the end of the excel file next option is import vouchers without error message if you enable this option then no error message will appear on the screen and busy will import vouchers without showing any error message it may be that there are some errors while importing some vouchers but busy will skip those vouchers and import those vouchers in which no error has been found now click import button to start the process of importing data from excel sheet here on the screen you can see busy has shown the message that six vouchers are imported successfully now we'll go to transaction purchase list option and we'll view the list of purchase vouchers that are being imported on the screen you can see it's showing six vouchers that are imported from excel sheet on pressing enter key on any of the entry you can see the complete voucher details all the items taxation related details are shown on the screen 
Now we'll discuss our case 2 that is tax is applied item wise and tax rate is not specified in excel sheet. For this we'll again go to import vouchers from excel option. Here we have selected the voucher type as sales, select format, we have selected import sales. You can see its configuration on the screen, various fields which we have configured for this format. Next we'll open the excel sheet from which we are importing the data. On the screen you can see in the excel sheet there is no column for the tax rate. Here simply the item name, quantity, unit, price and amount fields are appearing but there is no field for tax rate, tax name or tax amount. These tax details will be picked from item master. And let me clarify here, in the item master whatever tax category you have specified, we will pick tax rate from tax category only. Specify the sale type, here we have taken the sale type as LGST item wise. Create new masters used in voucher and specify the default parent group for account item and material center master. In the item fields group, now we'll enable the option of tax rate. That is pick data from item master tax rate. That is tax rates are to be picked from item master. In the item master, as I have said earlier also, whatever tax category you have specified, we will pick the tax rate from that particular tax category. Next in the auto calculate amount, we have enabled the option of auto calculate tax amount. That is tax amount will be calculated automatically. Specify the excel file path, sheet number, starting row, ending row and click the import button to start the process of importing data from excel sheet. Now we'll go to sales voucher and view the list of sales voucher for 1st of July. It's showing 6 vouchers. On pressing enter key on any of the voucher, complete voucher details are being shown. On pressing enter key on the item amount field an item wise GST window will appear which will show the CGST and SDST percentage and amount. This CGST and SDST rate is picked from item master and amount is being calculated automatically. Now we will discuss our next case, case 3, tax is applied item wise and tax rate is specified in excel sheet. That is the tax rates are specified in excel sheet. They will not be picked from item master. For this we will again go to import vouchers from excel window, select voucher type as sales, format. Now we will open the excel sheet which contains the data. Here on the screen you can see that in the excel sheet CGST and SDST rates are being specified. Now we will specify the sale type. Here we have taken the sale type as LGST item wise. Create new masters used in vouchers. Specify default parent group for these masters. In the pick data from item master group will not enable anything but in the auto calculate amount group will enable the option of tax amount that is tax amount will be calculated automatically. Tax rate will be picked from item master but tax amount will be calculated automatically. Next specify the excel file path, sheet number, starting row, ending row and click the import button to start the process of importing data. Next we will go to the list of sales voucher, we will view this list for 2nd of July. You can see on the screen 6 vouchers are appearing. On pressing enter key on any of the entry, it's showing complete voucher details. On pressing item amount data field, item wise GST window will appear which is showing the CGST and SGST percentage and amount. Now we will discuss our next case, case 4, tax is inclusive in item amount that is these are tax inclusive transactions and tax rate is specified in excel sheet itself. For this again we'll go to import vouchers from excel window, select voucher type, select format. Now open the excel sheet containing data. This sheet is totally similar to the sheet we have seen earlier. Here only the CGST rate and SDST rates are being specified. The only difference is that these rates are included in item amount. That is item amount is inclusive of item amount plus tax amount. Busy will then do a reverse calculation to segregate the item amount and the tax amount. Create new masters used in vouchers, specify default parent group. Here we have uh, enabled the option of auto calculate tax amount, specify excel file path, sheet number, starting row, ending row and click the import button to start the process of importing data. Now we will go to the list of sales voucher, we are opening this list for 3rd of July. You can see 6 vouchers are being imported. On pressing enter key on any of the entry, complete voucher details are being shown. On pressing enter key on the item amount field, it's showing the CGST and SGST percentage that is included in the item amount. At the left hand side of the bottom of the voucher, you can see the complete details that is what is the tax rate, taxable amount and CGST and SGST amounts. 
Next, we'll discuss our case 5, that is tax is inclusive in item amount, tax inclusive transactions, but tax rate is not specified in Excel sheet, that is tax rate will be picked from item master. Again, we'll go to import vouchers from Excel window, select voucher type, format, specify default parent groups. Now, we'll open the Excel sheet from which the data is to be imported. In the sheet, you can see that there is no column for the tax name, rate and amount fields. Next, we'll enable the option of tax rate in pick data from item master group and enable the option of tax amount in auto calculate amount. Now we'll specify the Excel file path sheet number. We are importing data from sheet number two, starting row, ending row, and click the import button to start the process of importing data. Now we'll go to the list of sales voucher. We are opening this list for 4th of July. On the screen, you can, you can view the list of vouchers. Next, open any voucher here on pressing the enter key on the item amount field. You can see that CGST percent and SGST percentage is being shown, which is included in the item amount. Our next and last case is that item amount, tax rate and tax amount is not specified in Excel sheet. Tax rate will be picked from item master and tax amount and item amount will be calculated. Now again, we'll go to import vouchers from Excel window, select the voucher type format. Next, we'll open the Excel sheet. In the sheet, you can see that there is no column for item amount, tax rate and tax amount. These details will be calculated by Busy itself. Next, we'll specify the sale type as LGST item wise. Create new masters used in vouchers. Specify default parent group for account item and material center masters. Next, in the item field group, we'll enable the option of tax rate. That is, tax rate will be picked from item master. And in the auto calculate amount group, we'll enable the option of item amount and tax amount. That is, item amount and tax amount will be calculated automatically by Busy itself, and tax rate will be picked from item master. Again, I like to mention that tax rate will be picked from the tax category tagged with the item master. Specify the Excel file path, starting row, ending row and click the import button to start the process of importing data. Now we'll view the list of sales voucher for 5th of July. You can see a list of 6 sales voucher on the screen. On pressing enter key on any of the field, complete voucher details are appearing. On pressing enter key on the item amount data field, you can see the CGST and SGST rates are being shown for the item here. Item amount and and tax amount are calculated automatically at the front side bottom of the voucher you can see the complete taxation details so this is our advanced import vouchers from excel part that is in this presentation we have seen how to import data from excel sheet using various taxation related cases that is when tax is inclusive in item tax is specified item wise when tax rate is specified in Excel sheet or tax rate is not specified in Excel sheet and they are to be picked from item master. So we have discussed all such cases in this presentation. One thing I like to mention here is that if you want to import masters from Excel file also, then you can refer to our video import masters from Excel in busy. Hope after going through this presentation, you would be able to easily import voucher data from Excel file to busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.